So the first thing that you will do, using the information from that video and other information that's around the room or online, you need to go and make a few more notes on different specialised cells. Then you're going to put together like a foldable on specialised cells. First thing I'll do, fold it open so it opens up like a wardrobe. On the left hand side, you can then go and pick out about five specialised cells. On the front, you'll put the name of the specialised cell, maybe a little diagram. Then you'll be able to have it open up and you can have a full explanation there about what that specialised cell does. So for instance, a nerve cell would go and transmit messages around the body. It's specialised because it's very, very long and can make lots of connections with other nerve cells. Sperm cell is there to go and fertilise an egg. It's specialised by having a tail which will allow it to swim and lots of mitochondria which will provide energy. It also only has half the number of chromosomes. Root hair cells, same again, open up, right, root hair cell has a large surface area to volume ratio, so it can go and absorb water out of the soil. Red blood cells, it has no nucleus, so it can have more haemoglobin inside of it. It's biconcaved in shape, so it's flexible, so it can move through thin capillaries, and it contains haemoglobin, which is the red pigment, which carries around oxygen. Right, muscle cells, right, muscle cells contain lots of mitochondria to provide energy. They also can get shorter and longer, so they can contract. Right, so that is just a few examples of the specialised cells that you can do on the left hand side. Right, on the right hand side, I'd like a section on the front saying generally what specialised cells are. So a specialised cell is a cell that is there to do a particular job. Specialised cells can be adapted in a number of different ways. You might want to go and talk about some of those ways. Right, finally, to really get you thinking about what you've done, I'd like this to be able to open up here, and you don't necessarily need to do a game that looks like this, but I would like a very, very simple game on specialised cells. So where you have to go around and answer questions. So if I've got number one there, I might write in the question, what is a specialised cell? Right? Go around on that one. If you want to write other things like roll again, or maybe miss a go, whatever. If you wanted to do it as a grid and do it like snake and ladders game, that is completely up to you. But I would like you to write yourself a series of questions on this game based on the information in the leaflet.